Hello, welcome back to my tech farm. I'm Igor, and in this video, I'm testing sun low resin materials. And uh, it will be very interesting because they are completely different resins. This is the standard resin, ABS like, and PA or nylon like resin. And um, the reason you can see two lines actually that the first line is cured only two minutes, and the second line 20 minutes. Now, these test objects are sent to me by the Philosyn Hungarian company who contacted me if I want to do this uh, review and I accepted it. But this is not a sponsored video, so I got these test objects for free. I don't have to send them back, but I'm not paid anything about this. Now, I'll try to keep this video as short as much as possible because uh, a lot of test objects I have here and uh, not only those regular mechanical tests I usually do on this channel, but also I have some test objects like these springs to test the elasticity, uh, shrinking tests, I know some figures to drop them and to see how brittle they are. All test objects are printed on Illigo Mars 3 SLA CD printer and the Philosyn company used the Mercury Bundle Washing and Curing Station for this. Let's see the content of one package. So this is PLI-like resin, cured 20 minutes. So these are my regular test subjects for mechanical testing, creep, temperature, twist, uh, shear, impact and bending test. And then these are for pulling tests. Two are printed in vertical position and two in horizontal position to see if we have some kind of weakness in the layer adhesion. And then I have this cut. At this moment I'm not really sure what they mean, but uh, I will ask Phil and you can see it on the screen now. And then I have some kind of figures here which uh, have really small parts and I'll try to drop them from, I don't know, two meters maybe and to see if they will break or something like that. And then I have this spring to measure, I don't know, the elasticity and the prolongation. I will start with a shearing test and uh, we prepare this uh, test object. And there are some uh, measurements I will measure here, but don't worry, off camera. So I will measure the 50 millimeter dimension in X, Y and Z direction. Then I have 20 millimeter dimension in uh, Y, Z and in X direction I can measure here or here. And then we have the diameter of this hole, but we have two holes, horizontal and vertical. On horizontal we measure separately the X and Y dimension, and I will measure separately in the vertical hole the X and Z direction. And I know about the elephant foot problem, so I will try to measure above it, because the elephant foot can be easily removed with uh, some knife or something like that, or even if we use the support, uh, then it will be lifted during the printing and uh, we don't have this elephant foot effect. In y direction I have a problem, I cannot really measure it because uh, I don't want to measure it from this side because here we have the elephant foot. It looks like I have no choice, I have to measure it on this side. Let's speed it up and uh, half hours later. Well, for the first look, the most accurate are ABS parts, at least in X and Y direction, but I will analyze this later in the results part. And only this row, unfortunately, cannot be counted because uh, it has included the, the elephant foot too. I couldn't measure without it. In the meantime, I find out that these are test cards for the exposition time of the layer. And the exposition time is written here in the seconds for the standard ABS and PA like resin. And the time is between 1.2 or 2 seconds up to 3.5 or 4 seconds. And now let's take a closer look. Analyzing these cards for all three materials, I can see very similar results. So, too long exposure time is not good because I can see these gaps are fused together. Uh, too short time, for example here, one and a half seconds, we can see the letter are disappeared. But basically, in all three cases, the time between two and two and a half seconds uh, is acceptable. Now, I don't have too much experience how to test figures. These are standard ABS-like and PA-like, uh, two minutes and 20 minutes cured uh, test objects. And uh, these figures are from uh, lootstudios.com, they asked me to mention this. And uh, to me, basically, they look uh, very similar. I cannot see any difference. See, let's compare this one. So, standard ABS and uh, PA-like. But I can notice they have extremely lot of details and uh, these small parts cannot be printed with FDM printing. I tested this because uh, I compared with the 0.2mm nozzle FDM printing. You can find the video where I compared only the quality FDM versus SLA. 
and uh, so many details I could even hardly find a place where to write the type of the resin. Well, from this traveler I have uh, two for each group so I will drop them from two and a half meters on the ceramic tires and uh, I will see if any of them will break and they are marked here. I don't really like this kind of not too scientific approach but uh, let's see from two and a half meters on ceramic tiles which will break. Oh, let's collect them, I should have 12 pieces. And I can see some broken parts. I can see several legs and arms so let's repeat this maybe two more times. To be honest, I didn't expect any useful information from this uh, falling experiment, but actually there are some interesting results. So usually these are the broken parts, legs, map or the lamp. And if you take a closer look of these parts, so these are standard ABS-like and PA-like resin. So they were dropped uh, three times from two and a half meters on ceramic tiles and I have uh, four pieces from each material. And interesting, none of the ABS parts uh, have any broken elements, so they are completely in one piece. These are the standard resin, as you can see here, the map broke or the lamp, the legs, and all similar with the PA legs. So independent from the curing time, but from materials, the ABS part was successful 100% in this experiment. Now I have to figure out some kind of test for these springs. On Sanus website uh, there is some kind of test with them, but they just pull it until the break and that's where the Philosin got the idea. But uh, I would like to have some kind of more scientific approach. I decided to place these loads on the springs one by one and I will follow the deformation and of course I wear the safety goggles because I know they are brittle and may snap too easily. And here you can see my test equipment. There is a measuring tape next to it, so you can follow. Uh, so I started with the standard resin and uh, both uh, broke when I placed a uh, 5 kg load on them. Next one was the ABS-like and interesting, the 2 minute uh, version didn't break and uh, the 20 minute uh, break under the 5 kg. And a very similar situation I got with the nylon-like resin. So the 2 minute version survived this 5 kg load, but 20 minute version, no, it snapped in two pieces. I'm not sure how to evaluate these uh, results, but uh, one thing for sure, standard resin was the worst and uh, PA-like and ABS-like was very similar. The next one is the pulling or tensile test and these test objects are printed in horizontal position. And for this I have these uh, holders, they are CNC machines, I use the C CNC services by PCBA. And I'm starting with the standard resin. And then the next one was the ABS-like resin. On left side the 2 minute version, on the right side the 20 minute version cured. And this is the PA-like resin. I will show you the results uh, later in the summary table. And next one is uh, object printed in vertical position. And I'm starting again with the standard resin. They are quite strong, so I will compare this in the results part. The next one is the ABS-like. And definitely we can see the effect of the curing time. And this is the PA-like. And all test objects broke uh, correct on that smaller cross-section area, which is very solid, and uh, these new holders works great. And time for the torque or twist test, and this test object has a diameter of 6 mm. And I will uh, rotate them and measure the torque with this torque meter. I'm starting with standard resin and very brittle. I just started Here with the rotation this, and I snap very quickly. The next one is ABS-like. Definitely five. much stronger than the standard resin. And I could make maybe half rotations. And then PA-like. 1.8, Also very strong here in this test and I could make almost one full turn. What is common in all three cases is a very brittle material with very sharp broken edges, so it is very important to wear the safety glasses during the test. And now my C-point bending test where I measure the deformation after 130 and 60 seconds under the given load. And here you can see the full load is 10 kilograms, but I will place these loads one by one. And here you can see all 2 minute versions side by side. This is now 2.5 kg load, 5 kg, 
and 10 kilograms. And then moving to 20 minute cured versions. But very similar results I got here, but you will see again the curing time is very important in this case too. This is after 5 kg load and after 10 kg. And on each object I can see some permanent deformation too. They are not completely straight anymore. The next is shear stress where I will share this object into two parts. The diameter is 5 mm and here I can see again the 2 mm cured versions and then 20 mm cured versions and they completely behave differently from the FDM filaments because they snap too quickly. As you can see they are not shared completely on those two areas but they snap and uh, broke in several pieces. Usually the resin is very brittle material but I can test that with this ISO impact tester and the half kilogram hammer. The test object will be placed here and this half kilogram hammer will break it and swing to the position which is lower than the zero position and in difference in height I can calculate the potential and energy used to break these test objects. Now I only have uh, five test objects as you can see the ABS 20 minute cured part is missing so I will have only five numbers in this experiment. Standard resin cure two minutes. Zero position. ABS two minutes. PLI two minutes. Standard 20 minutes. PLI 20 minutes. There are several surprises in this test. I thought the PLI will be more tough material and I'm surprised again why is it so big difference between 20 and 2 minutes standard material. So the 20 minute version is very tough compared to the 2 minute version almost like ABS. But this is what I got with this measuring. Another temperature test in this oven with the M10 nut as a small load and I want to record the temperature of the starting deformation. And then uh, I follow the temperature with this uh, cooking thermometer and uh, you will see it was very hard to see any difference or deformation. I went up to 240 degrees Celsius. Only when I opened the oven, <laughs> first thing actually I noticed that I have to ventilate the oven and the kitchen. I couldn't record the deformation temperature but I can see the difference in hardness. The southern resin was soft too but ABS like was softer and PLI was the softest in this test in both cases the 2 and 20 minute versions. After only 3 minutes they are completely hard. I can see some color changes on the surface and interesting I noticed that 20 minute standard resin cracked in several pieces but only under the effect of the temperature. The grip test to measure the deformation under the constant load and I will measure the distance between these two reference surfaces and I even fired the two edges to get more accurate measuring. I even had to extend this stand because originally it was designed for 4 pieces. The load will be 1.25 kg. This test is designed for FDM CD printing because I can see maybe this load is too big for this resin material. I will show you just one measuring, locking the positions for more accurate measuring. 2139. And I will collect the data into this table. Interesting, I can see the biggest deformation on ABS, but basically very similar so far, like with the bending test, and uh, maybe it will not even survive next five days. And even now we can see how important is the curing time, so these are the 2 minute cured versions, and these 20 minute versions. Day 1 after 24 hours everything is measured, and I thought it will not survive until the morning, but it's still here. Day 2 everything measured and the uh, ABS 2 minutes part already fall down and I think the next one will be the PA version 2 minutes. Day 3 but without uh, another test objects from PA 2 minutes version. Day 4. 5th day everything measured, let's remove the load. And this is the permanent deformation. And it's time to analyze the results and this excel table you can download from my website. Let's start with the creep test. So this is the raw data, the difference between these two reference surfaces, what I measured. But what we need is actually the difference between two days. And that's uh, what can we see in this table and this is presented on this graph. So zero means no creeping. 
And here we can see that some resin materials failed after first or second day the load fall down, but uh, only standard resin was closer to the perfect zero uh, no, means no creeping. But even here after fourth or fifth day, uh, we have, I know, almost two millimeter deformation during the one day. And these two would probably fail uh, after maybe eight day or something like that, the load will fall down. But they didn't stop with deformation even on a fifth day. But effect of the curing time is quite obvious. So much uh, stronger parts we have with the 20 minute curing compared to the two minute curing. And then the tensile test and the layer adhesion test. So we have these test objects printed in horizontal or ventrical position. And a very similar graph. You can see the scale is same on uh, two sides. And uh, this means that uh, here we don't have that weakness along the Z axis. This is what I like uh, uh, compared to the FDM printing. So we don't have that weak uh, layer adhesion. And of course, uh, effect of the curing time is quite obvious here. We have much stronger objects. The shear stress, well here uh, we can see that the standard resin was the weakest in this test and uh, we can see the positive effect of the curing time but not so big like with the previous tensile test but uh, the resin behavior completely different compared to the FDM printing because they didn't share on these two cross section areas unlike the FDM uh, test objects but they just explode on these loads. Three-point bending test. In this table we can see the deformation after 30 seconds on these loads and this is presented on this graph. But I believe that uh, more important is uh, this table where I recorded the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds on these loads and this is presented on this graph. And here we can see that uh, this uh, test is actually prepared for the FDM uh, test objects because uh, they are stronger and here we can see definitely these 10 kilograms is too big for these resin materials uh, when this is not horizontal but under this angle this means they continuously deform under this load uh, very similar with five kilograms so for these resin materials maybe this uh, load 2.5 kilograms is safe because here we have nearly horizontal line the torque or twist test and um, here the standard resin was the weakest and it uh, broke uh, too sudden. I just start with the rotation and I couldn't make 90 degree turn. But I mean, this is not bad. I wouldn't mind if uh, it would broke uh, very quickly, but on much higher load. And of course, uh, we can see the effect of the curing time again, very positive. ISO impact test and uh, more or less uh, what I expected, except with this standard 20 minute version, I'm not sure why this is so much stronger compared to, to this uh, two minute uh, cured version. But I expected this because uh, of that figure dropping test. So there, uh, every ABS figure survived that falling and all other standard and uh, nylon like resin somewhere broke. Unfortunately, I don't have this test object one was missing in the package. The temperature test, I couldn't really record the temperature of the star deformation. So uh, the oven was heated up to 240 degrees Celsius. And uh, when I uh, open it, I could see that uh, they are soft, but they didn't start with deformation under that uh, M10 nut. But uh, what I noticed that the nylon like was the far the softest between these three and the standard was but it was soft too, but from these three, I think it was uh, the best. But the 20 minute versions uh, cracked because it has, I don't know, a lot of internal stress. So it cracked only uh, under the effect of the temperature. Uh, the spring test, uh, I got these test objects, but I'm not too happy with this testing method. Anyway, the standard resin was the weakest in this test and the ABS and PA two minute version only survived even five kilogram load and the prolongation you can follow in the footage because there is the measuring tape next to it. And of course, the price is also very important. The PA like has the biggest price. Standard and ABS like are very similar. Ah, yes, and of course the shrinking test. So these are the measured values. Uh, this is the deformation in percentage. And then I summary here all X, Y and uh, Z deformations. And that's what can we see on this graph. Mm, I'm not sure maybe because 100% is the perfect. 
uh, I think the ABS like was the closest to this. Uh, maybe if we mix the ABS and PA like, <laughs> it would be perfect. But uh, this is what I got. I think this was far the biggest uh, material testing fork on this channel. And to be honest, if I wouldn't be curious myself, I wouldn't do it. Just to remind you, small YouTube channel like mine uh, don't earn too much from the video, maybe five or ten dollar per video. And um, if I wouldn't be curious uh, seriously, I wouldn't do it. I want to buy a SLA printer very soon, maybe next year, and uh, I want to be clear with the possibilities. Now about these three materials, uh, as you can see from the results, uh, none of them is perfect, so you have to know what application you will have and uh, what are the requirements, and you have to choose specific materials. Compared to the FDM, uh, filaments are stronger compared to these resins, these are very brittle materials, but they have several advantages. Uh, for example, you can print uh, very good details, mini figures are similar. But what is more important for me, that we don't have that weakness along the z-axis. So we don't have that uh, weak layer attention and similar. As you can see, I don't have too many experience how to test resin materials. So I use those experiments I prepared for the FD and CD printing. Anyway, you can download these results from my website and for my Patreon supporters, I will add these results to that summary table so they can compare easily these results with those I did in earlier videos. If you have some other suggestions or maybe comments, you know, a few lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing!